Hey guys, it's Wendy, aka Kitty Street, and we have made it to November. Um, yeah, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys, and I just want to take a moment to say, let us embrace the month of November. We we get all hyped up for October because we have Halloween, all the, the candy and the games and the decorations and the costumes. And then we seem to jump straight off into Christmas because every time I turn around, I see Christmas in halls, in the stores, and I get it. I love Christmas just like everybody else. But just I wanted to say, hey, let's kind of take a moment and embrace the month of November. It is the month of Thanksgiving. Um, we can eat some turkey or whatever else you you know you like to do on your um, holiday. But the main thing I bring it this up is because I tend to myself personally skip over November. So I'm kind kind of trying to hold it back in a little bit. Of course, I'm going to be showing some Christmas. Get real. But I do want to take a few moments and a few of my hauls and just say, hey, we're in November. It's it's the chilly month where we're, we're making vegetable soup. Things are getting a little bit more crisp. The, the daylight saving time, you know, it's getting darker at evening quicker. It's just all the things that I love about this fall going into winter season, and I'm rambling. So with that said, I want to just take a moment to say, you know, I have a lot of family and friends that support me on my channel and subscribers as well. Thank you so much, very, very much um, subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, um, please consider it. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. But why am I bringing up this right now is because I want to talk about a special person who has kind of done some Thanksgiving, some friendly kind of um, uh, thing for me personally. Um, I have a dear friend. Um, she actually, when I met her, um, she was always talking about the Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and I don't think she realized what I was about when it when it came to the Dollar Tree. And she found out real quick. And she says, "Oh, I caught you on your YouTube." And I said, "Yeah, thank you very much. I love the Dollar Tree." And and now she knows how much I really, really love the Dollar Tree. Without me going into a bunch of tangents, she went to England, and I believe it was in July. I'm not. I know this is a, a few months out, but with everything going on, I already had plans for my my hauls and my and the things that I was doing. Um, when she went to England, I think it was in July, it was actually the time Queen Elizabeth passed. So she was there during that time. But anyway, she went to England and um, she sent me a postcard, which I'm going to show it to you. And the postcard is something like this. And it's just awesome. I have never been out of the country, especially not to England. It's a bucket list thing I would love to do. Um, and she wrote a little note here to me um, stating that she had went to this place called the Pound Shop. And the pound shop is like the Dollar Tree here in Georgia. So, or similar, I guess. I'm, I'm not quite sure. I'm assuming it is. But she was so excited. Um, I was excited for her. She sent me pictures of what she got. And she sent me the postcard. And when she got back, um, she sent me a gift. And this is what she got me from the pound shop. This adorable and when I say adorable bag here, um, which I would use it for so many things, it says Blooming Lovely, <laughs> and it's huge. And she got that at the um, store, and I thought the, the bag had the name of it on it for the pound shop. Maybe it didn't. No, it just has a bunch of little writing here. But I, I thought it had where it said the pound shop because it had it's like a, a name, a specific name to it. Um, I'll get that and, and, and show you that later. I'm not quite sure if she wrote it on this card. But bottom line is Grammy, thank you so much for my postcard. And I'm loving this bag from England. I'm going to cherish this for life and I will fill it with lots of goodies from the Dollar Tree and it has my favorite colors in there and I just love it. So that's a shout out to you, Grammy. Thank you so much for supporting me and I hope you're watching this video and I hope you tell me that you heard me give you a shout out and for all the other people out there, um, let's just give things to people who um, you, you love and that you just want to share your happiness with and I'm going to get right on into this haul for you guys. All right. Nothing um, is in order. I just randomly set some stuff here because I wanted to get out a haul because I was starting to accumulate stuff that I've picked up here and there prior to me going on vacation last week or the week before. <laughs> Time is flying. 
and I didn't, you know, want to haul it before I went, and then I bought some stuff in Florida, and I hauled that because I wanted to show you what I got there. So this is stuff that's just been kind of around, and I'm itching like crazy to go to some Dollar Trees here in a bit and start getting my Christmas on. But right here, this is some stuff that I had gotten and I've been holding on to it for a couple weeks now. So let me go ahead and get right into this and show you what I got. So of course I picked up a couple of these um, cinnamon um, smelling wonderful fragranced scented brooms. Um, it just says not a food, not for food consumption, duh. Keep out of reach of children, but it's the little brooms. They have the little hook on them right here. Oh my goodness. They smell so good, and I love to put these out around Thanksgiving, um, especially when we have guests over. It just makes your house, I mean, it smells so nice, and I picked up two of them. I'm going to be putting these around their, our Thanksgiving table, and for $1.25, they're still a good deal. They're pretty compact. Um, they look like little brooms, and honestly, I save them for the next year and use them for Halloween once they've dried out and sometimes put, you know, things on it and for decor things. So anything I get, I usually use it over and over again until I just can't figure out what else to do to it and either trash it, either I trash it or I send it to Goodwill. Okay, I did pick up two more of these um, sealing brushes. I'm bummed out because I'm actually looking for the one that, that kind of curves. I used it one time and it is this stuff here is gunky, but I did see these couple of, C of ceiling fan ones by Essentials Microfiber Fan Dusters. And of course you stick it on the long pole, which I don't have the pole with me because um, I didn't purchase more poles because you just stick these on there through this little spout right here. And these go in your ceiling fans and oh my goodness, I used to get up there and wipe them down and the ceiling fans all drip. This right here, you just stick it on the little hickey, open it up. Let me see. I don't really know if I want to open one. Yeah, there's a little hole right there. You can see it. And it goes through the blade. So I, this right here is a lifesaver. And I, I, now that I'm not using my ceiling fans as much, even though I do use them all winter long too as well, because I'm that person. But I love to have these just to get that dust off of it. Because if you don't, it builds up and then you really do have to get up there and start cleaning it. So I picked up two more of these for $1.25. I thought those were awesome deals. Now, this next item, um, or two or three, this is for Baby Zaire's um, room when we get to the point of remodeling it. Right now, it's a vintage Halloween um, hot mess that I'm taking down, getting ready to put up Thanksgiving stuff. Um, check out that short um, I showed you um, where I went to the Goodwill, and my son had given me like 25 bucks or something like that, and I went and got some stuff, and then I just created something from my mind and threw it together for him while we were on vacation. He had like a little birthday slash Halloween thing, and um, I loved it. So check out that short. But right now, that's what's going on in his little, it's a sunroom actually, but it's going to be turned back into his area where he can play and have his little library and his little section where we can just sit there and read books and things like that. But I found these awesome, I'm gonna pick up the gray ones first, these awesome, hooks. They're like little star wooden hooks by Special Moments Memories Collection. Um, and this one here is in gray. I'm sorry for rattling the bag. They have a little hook on the back. Now, one thing I did notice that they're a little, the little knob here is a little off center, but that's okay. If your OCD don't kick in, um, it might be all right. But yeah, the gray one here, this is the actual one piece. It's pretty big. I'll probably hang it up for him maybe to hang a coat or hat or something on. But then they had the, um, these two pack ones and I thought what in the world I'm making sure that you can see my lighting here because I'm trying to do this real quick because I'm about to go into a class but they had the two pack and the one pack in gray and so I thought you know this will be fine but then I go around the corner and they had the white and I, and I think they had black too I've seen some people hauling the black ones but um, I just went there so you can see <laughs> this is really off center well actually the hooks turn here so it's just a little you know funny right here this one hangs like here and the hooks like that but regardless for a dollar 25 you can't even craft these things for a dollar 25 and of course i picked up the white ones now these ones i'm not quite sure if i will put them in his room uh if i if i figure out maybe i'll get him some caps or something but i definitely want to put one with um, his little coat when he comes over or a little sweater or just something cute. I don't know. I may even hang up some plushes or something like that if, if, if I have them where they have little um, hooks to hang them upon. But I thought these right here were pretty nice for a dollar twenty-five. So I was pleasantly surprised about those. Then 
not thinking about this, I went ahead and I was saying I don't really need these, but I could not pass them up. Guys, look at this. I mean, I know it's not doing a lot of justice. Let me see if my camera, I mean my camera, my, my lighting, I don't know if it's showing very well or not on this, but guys, this right here is a pencil holder. Both of these are pencil holders and I could not make up my mind what color to get. They're distributed by the Greenbrier Industries. They had baby blue. They had, uh, I think it was a yellow, a peach, and they had this lilac. So my favorite color is purple. Um, I love everything purple, lilacs and all that. So I went ahead and picked up these and I'm pretty sure uh, because I have no use for it whatsoever unless I just get rid of some of my office supplies that I have that are in white and just use these for like when it gets around the holidays of Easter or whatever. I may give this to a little princess that I know of because I think she'll like it. And I may, I just thought about this if I do the shoebox, Christmas shoebox from our church. Um, I may figure out some kind of way to incorporate this. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. But what I'm saying is this. These right here have these little fuzzy pieces in there. And for $1.25, I thought they were just awesomely cute. And I'm like blown away, completely blown away with what the Dollar Tree is putting out, even though I don't need them. And they're pretty deep. I mean, they're pretty deep for the pencils, if you can even see that. And they're very thick. It's not, a, it's not that cheap plastic stuff. This right here... I had to have it. I had to have it. I also had to have this, these stylus pens because I lost the ones in my car and I've been punching my little screen, especially the whole time I was on vacation and my fingerprints were all over and it was driving me insane. So this was a two pack, a royal blue and a um, purple pen and it just says super value pack. It has the little hook. I bought these before, um, but they, I lose them or they get somewhere thrown away. I don't know what happens to them, but you can put your phone on it. You also can use the bottoms for, to touch your, your home screen on your car if you have that or your iPad or whatever. So I always try to find the ones that have two or three or more on them um, because I just feel like it's a better deal for $1.25, but I love these colors and I thought, yeah, they're great. They don't say who they're made by. It just says, this is not a toy. Newest fashions, best quality, great values. Um, made in China, distributed by, oh, here we go. Distributed by Royal Deluxe Accessories in New York. Very tiny writing, but I thought I would pick those up for me. This other item is very random, and um, I only found one throughout the whole store. I was bummed out. I went aisle by aisle by aisle. And I thought, if I see these anywhere else, I said, I, I, if I don't get this one, I'm going to see them at other places. I'm going to regret that I didn't pick this up. So, I, I, here it is. It's this big S. <laughs> and it's got um, Shake Me right here. And it just has this little, little tab with a barcode. I'll make sure it doesn't have a name. I looked and looked and looked and I asked. It says, um, oh my goodness, item mark clear. It doesn't say a name, but basically I asked the cashiers and, and, you know, sometimes they're very helpful there. And, and mind me, I know it's super busy and people are shorthanded and this is just so beautiful. Look at, and it's my favorite color too. It's purple. Now I have a lot of S people in my family. My son's name is Seth. My mommy's name is Susan, but I got this S for Kitty Street, and I wanted to get a K, and I looked every single place in every aisle. I mean, I looked under stuff. I was opening up boxes that was sitting there that were kind of already opened up, thinking, well, maybe they're there, and when I asked the cashiers, they said, oh, no, we only had a few of them, and they got gone, like, immediately, and I said, well, I don't blame them, because this is super, look, it's the size of my head, almost the size of my full face. It's gigantic, and I just love the purple of it, so I'm going to be looking around <laughs> in my Dollar Trees, and I know this is real random, but I want to have a shelf. You know, I'm going to eventually get, um, now that my son has finally moved out, I got my daughter out, my son out, and, and the room that, that he was in, I'm going to try to put it for a recording so I can have my backgrounds all set up because lately I've just been going wherever I could feel like I could get some lighting. And right now I'm trying to do this because I'm going to a, going to teach a class and it's getting dark. So I'm trying to do this quickly, but I want to enjoy it. And I want you just to see the things I got. So yeah, I got this great S that you can shake up. And I just love, I mean, literally love this color. And yes, I'm a random kid. I know it. So I picked up that for a buck 25. Okay. I picked up a few accessories um, for me. Um, I got these hair clips. And the reason why I picked them up, they're by Gimme, 
G-I-M-M-E, three medium claws. Now, I thought it was just two until I looked up here and actually saw the three. Now, um, I have not ever used these, but what got me is this Curve for Comfort Long Lasting Grip. So, they're slim, and they're supposed to be where they don't mess up your hair. Now, I, I had got my hair cut right before I went on vacation, and it's super short right now, but when I do have it up, I need to have something that's going to hold my hair. I've been using those little ponytail holders, the black ones, the, real, the, the soft ones, and I love them, but sometimes I don't want to put, because if I use that in my hair, it leaves a cr like a dip and it's just horrible. So these right here, I'm hoping will work. I'll let you guys know, but it says no break design curve for comfort, long lasting grip. And there is a three of them. If you can actually see those in there, three of those. I picked up another scarf, but this is actually going to be a gift. Um, it's from Juncture and it's just a gray scarf. It has like little um, sayings on it. I think it says dream. And I'm going to be doing like a little um, little bouquet gift thing for this month. I'm trying to give a couple of little items out for Thanksgiving to some of my friends. Um, and I just thought this was awesome for $1.25. I'm loving these scarves. And it's getting to the point where, you know, you need something like that around. It's, sometimes it's chilly. Sometimes it's not. Throw you on a little scarf and it helps you out. So, yeah, just a random scarf. It doesn't, it, the dimension says it's uh, 63 inches by 13 by 8. They're pretty long and they're pretty nice. And I have several of them and they're real durable. I like them. And I did find those aloe socks, those ones that everybody's been hauling when I was gone. I didn't see any of them in Florida, but they have them there by the Aromatherapy. Um, they, had, uh, they had another design. It had like a cat on it, but it was white. And I specifically don't like to pick up the white ones. Now, these are going to be for me. At first, I thought, well, maybe I'll get some as a gift for my kids. Um, my daughter, my, I might give her one pair of these. But um, I love this kind of peachy color with the gray part right here. This is the koala bear. I don't. Can you see that? I don't know if you can even see it. Yeah, the koala, if you can even see that a little bit. So this one's a koala. And then this one here is the... I think this is an owl, and it's the gray one. Yeah, I think it's an owl, and it's gray with the um, lilac or purpley kind of thing, and these are aroma therapy aloe socks infused with natural aloe vera and vitamin C, and it has little things on here talking about comfort and all that, and so I love these kind of fuzzy socks, especially from working from home because my feet are always freezing cold, so I said I'm going to pick that up, and then I did pick up one white one just because I love unicorns, and I thought, okay, I'll get one pair of white ones but you know what happens I don't know if you can even tell that um, when you have white <laughs> you walk on it once or twice they're gray at least in my house anyway and that's even when when I have the, the carpet shampooed and vacuumed it never fails they get dingy real quick but I love the fact that they had the little unicorn so I picked up a three of those for $1.25 I thought they were still a pretty good deals now I have a couple more items but I do want to do a little shout out for this Nuvia. I did go ahead and pick up another one because I saw it. Um, I am completely out of the Nuvia um, packets that you stick into your drink. Like I would put, you know, a um, pack of this in some water and drink it. Sorry, guys, I'm real, real dry. And um, I love these. Now, I'm telling you, if you do take them, I hope it's at a time when you're at home because they do make you go to the bathroom because it has magnesium in them. I always felt energetic. I felt um, more awake when I had these. I wish I could find them. I was going to order them, but they're very expensive. Um, I think they were anywhere from like $12 on up. And I'm like, eh. I wish I could find some more of these at the Dollar Tree. I don't see them, but I did randomly find this one. Now I kind of gave the other pack like this I had. Um, I broke it open and gave some to everybody because I never tried these. These ones you actually put in the, the water. I, I apologize. This is the ones you put in the water back up and this was the ones you just kind of put under your tongue and drank with water and i love these because they went fast acting these i have not tried so i'm going to get through these i'm actually going to start i said i was going to start on the first of november which you know was just a couple days back but the point i'm trying to say is that i was going to take the whole month of november and see how this helped me with with my weight and with my um energy level so i'm going to do a review probably at the end of the month on these two this nuvia product I really like it, but I would never take these if I had a day job because they make you go to the bathroom like nobody's business, but sometimes you need to do that. Um, and this one right here, I, like I said, I had not never tried this one, the pack I bought. 
I opened it up and gave it to everybody for them to try because I was doing these. And it took me quite a while because this right here, the Nuvia, it has magnesium. This is the Lemon Ball Hops and l uh, there were uh, There were quite a bit. Is it going to tell me how many was in here? It was a lot. And it took me quite a while. 20. 20 dissolvable packs because I didn't take them every day. I just took them like every once I when I thought about it. Now this one here is um, I think it's magnesium, lemon ball, and L thionine. Promotes sense of calm, relieves stress, and it's ready when you need it the most. It has 16 guys, so it's a lot in here too. So I'm gonna get at least 16 days of this where you put it in your water, and I'm gonna try that out. Okay. Two last items, I wanna say that I was pleasantly surprised to find these, and when I did see these, I said, oh my gosh, I got to let the people in our Dollar Tree world know this. They're marking down stuff at the $5 plus. Now I've got just about all the sets of these little, um, this one's here is the Ready Set Fun. It was on the $5, if you see this right here. It's the, the beachy kind of games for the summer. Um, they will last me over the winter time, and I will use these in the summertime. This is the Disc Golf. It's set includes five gold plays and three discs, and it was marked down from the five bucks to $1.25. I, I had some other ones. I was gonna try to pull them out, but they're downstairs and underneath my basement, and I didn't wanna do that. And then I got this cute one here I thought was awesome. Um, it was also on the $5 plus. You can't see that. Marked down to $1.25. And this is the Ladder Ball game set. And look how cute that is. So I have a couple other games. Um, so now I have like probably six total that when this summer comes, um, spring, fall, when spring and summer comes, I will have a whole setup and baby Zaire. Um, maybe you can have some play dates and we will have plenty of little games for them to play. And I just thought these were awesome. So check out your areas for clearance because even Dollar Tree has clearance. And a dollar twenty-five for some games that you could get a lot of use out of, I thought were pretty doggone cool. So guys, with that said, thank you for hanging in there again for this Dollar Tree haul. Please like, so like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, comment, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.